Hey there, my web crafting wizards. That's me flicking the wand. Not like that. <laughs> uh, today's episode is going to be about creating a beautiful design. If you ever wanted to make a website and you struggle with creating a decent design and you found that the balance was off or some things didn't look right, it's probably because of white space. White space is one of the key principles of web design. So we'll talk about balancing your page out, creating harmony between elements, what's active white space, passive white space. I'll try to give you all the best tricks that I know. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Drop a sub, drop a like, and hopefully this video fills up that empty white space in your heart. Okay, let's go. So let's talk about white space. And I'm gonna be using Wix Studio to illustrate all of this because it's such a great platform to just simply drag and drop and make a website. And it's just very easy to see what's going on without writing any code. So before we start talking about white space, let me just add something on the screen. So we're gonna head over here to add section and let's extend this out a little bit. And maybe we wanna have three cards here with some text down at the bottom. So let's head over here to quick add and I'm gonna drop in a container just like that. Let's extend this a bit so it's vertical and I'm gonna round the corners. I'm also gonna replace this with an image. So there we go, I just added an image here and I can just duplicate this two more times. So I have three cards here on my website. So there's our three images and now for each container I'm gonna pop in some text here at the bottom. So let's go to the plus icon, drag in the text and I'll also drag in a paragraph and I'll repeat this process for the rest of the two. Okay, so now that we have a couple of cards and text on the page, we can talk about white space. And essentially when you're creating a design, there's two types of white spaces that you need to keep your eyes out for. And if you have these two covered, you'll be fine and dandy, I promise you. So one of them is passive white space. All right, so this is white space that we don't intentionally add, but it's there and we need to be aware of it. So stuff like the text line height here. So as you can see, that space has been added already for us without us even actually touching anything. Um, and the passive white space is the white space that we intentionally add between elements. So if I drag this down, right, that's all the white space that I created manually. One of the most important tips I can give you for passive white space is to make sure that your paragraphs have enough line height to make the text very easy and readable. As you can see, by default, Wix Studio already does that for us. So when we add the paragraph text and scroll down here to spacing, it adds 1.6 EM. So you want to make sure it's at least more than 1.3, 1.4-ish, or 140% if you're working with percentages. But that makes the text very easy and readable. As you can see on this side, it is quite difficult, especially when you have loads of text. One more important thing to keep in mind when it comes to white space is how your text is aligned. So our text can be aligned either left, center, or right, or even justified. In this case, when we have loads of text like this, or a blog post, you want to make sure you don't align your text to the center because we tend to start reading a blog post or a book or anything that you're reading from the same position as the first line. So when we're reading contrary and then we're going to the end here, we expect our next line to also start there. But when you do a text align center, it's going to try to force everything to be centered, right? So it's not gonna care if it adds more white space uh, to the left or to the right of the text. So you might end up with text that looks something like this. And then that is, becomes very, very difficult to read. So our first step again is to go to the spacing, add a nice healthy spacing like 1.6. And next up, what we're gonna do is take all of this paragraph and format it to the left. And there we go, look how much more readable this text has become. And if you have a long, long paragraph, you can also maybe try to break those into two points as well, because it will be easier on your viewer's eye. So I'll just separate these two sections here like that. Now you can still use text align center. You just want to make sure that your text is not super duper long. I usually like to keep it maybe to three lines. So when it comes to four lines like this, I usually either modify this so it goes to three or I'll try to change the text to fit my aesthetic. So let's discuss a couple of important white space design principles to help us make this design look a tad bit nicer. Um, so one of them is we could use white space to essentially structure and organize our content. So in this case, you can imagine this 
part of our page here with the image, title, and this small paragraph here can essentially be considered as like a section on our page, right? We essentially want to show, hey, these are the services that we offer. So this paragraph here has really nothing to do with it. However, there's something called the proximity design principle, which essentially says, hey, if you have other stuff close to it, People usually tend to see this as a one thing, right? As a one individual thing rather than unrelated parts. So as you can see, if I just have this really close here to my text, it's just going to look as one section here and that this information relates to my services. And you might want to do that, but in our case, we don't. So what I'll do is I'll grab this, I'll copy it, and I'll just delete it off the page. Perfect. And as you can see, this is my section here, so I can modify the size of it. And down here, we'll just add the paragraph into a new section. So let's create a new section. I'll do two rows here. Actually, let's do it horizontally like that, one to the left and one to the right. And in this column here, I'll drop in my paragraph. There we go. Let's add the title as well, actually and the paragraph there, and I'll just replace it with the text I had. We'll leave it here for now, keep that, and let's focus on the top portion. But even with that change, like even though like things are not aligned nicely here, there's a clear distinction now between this section of our page and this section of our page. And we used white space to do that. So we managed to separate our sections apart with some white space. So now the user can clearly identify, okay, there, there's a nav bar there. There's a section here that shows us some sort of services and there's some more info here with an image. So that is clear now. However, it still doesn't look too good, right? And the reason why it doesn't look good is because we don't have any balance or visual order in our design. And not only we need to add white space, but we need to make sure that white space is consistent along the elements, but also along the pages and sections. So for example, to fix this, what we can do is head over to the first section and I'll add a padding of 10 percent to the left and 10 percent to the right and on top we'll do five percent and five percent to the bottom and i'll just apply this to all my sections so as you can see now that i have my padding applied i can just start moving these images into position and snap them in the top left corner i'll take this and snap it into the top right corner and i'll just drag this middle image to the center and i'll apply the same for the titles and the paragraphs down below and I also want to make sure that the space in between the paddings match different sections as well, right? So if I'm using a H1 or a H2 here and I'm using another H1 or a H2 here, I want to make sure that H1 has the same amount of space here as in the other section, okay? Like even here, if we make a little change, right? And this is not in the right position. And even if it's like 10 pixels off more space, it just looks weird. It doesn't look good at all. So not only we need to worry about that section's balance and harmony but how it affects the rest of the page as well so here's just like a quick way of doing it i can just bring this up until it snaps to the corner there and i'll move this down by 10 pixels holding shift and the down arrow and then i can make sure that all my space here is actually perfectly matching. Another thing that we can do is add a bit more clarity to what the section is, because right now we're just showing the images and you know the services that we offer. So it would be nice to also have a header there, and that would make our design more consistent as well. What we essentially ended up implementing here is a Z layout that you're gonna see being used very often in web design. And it's the idea of the user when they visit your website, they usually tend to look at the top left portion of your website first and then they scan the page across to the right and then they tend to go to the bottom left and see what's going on here and then again across to the right right because that's how we read books as well that's how we consume content we scroll we look from the left read to the right go down left to the right okay so that's a good concept that you can start implementing in your design and it doesn't have to be like a two part sections here like that, right? So when we go down, again, it's gonna be broken down into two bits. It can be like one long carousel, just one long text, but the general concept still applies. 
And don't forget to use color as well to create that separation. So in this case, we have two pages here that are quite similar, right? We're both white in the background, which is fine. You can leave it like that as well. But if you want to, you could always customize this and maybe add a pattern in the background or any decoration. But also make sure that when you do add decorations in your web design, they do make sense or have some kind of logic in them. Uh, but for now, let me just apply here a pattern uh, and we can do this one, which makes it look like a grid. And there we go, adds a grayish background color and it just distinguishes the section from the top portion as well. And remember to just have fun with it and keep light on the rules because you're gonna be able to make more fun stuff with that. So for example, we did a standard card here that I showed you, but down here, for example, Look, this looks a bit different and this is not aligned with the other images, but that's fine because the text above kind of creates a nice harmony because the button is getting pushed down here in the middle. So it kind of makes sense that the image would go down slightly as well. So it creates a good balance and it just works. So don't be afraid to try out new things and see what works and what don't, because trust me, if it doesn't work, <laughs> you are going to know. And like, there's so many different approaches we could have taken this card. We could have extended it to make it full screen, something like this you're gonna see in designs as well, where the image takes the whole forefront. And then we use a lot of colored white space here to make the images and the call to action buttons pop. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this episode. There is a ton more to design. White space is like only one of the nine or 10 principles there are to it. So let me know if you wanna continue the series and I'll happily make some. Check out Wix Studio down in the description down below. Drop a sub, drop a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.